Deputies say someone took advantage of an Albuquerque family in the worst way. While they were at the hospital with a dying relative, burglars ransacked their home. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is in the newsplex. And Jessica, the family's father died that night. They all stayed at the hospital until the next morning. Now, there were only a few people who knew the family was gone. One of them was a neighbor who was now facing charges. Taking advantage of somebody at uh, somebody's family at the time of grief is just unheard of. Deputies are even shocked about what happened inside this house last Wednesday. Just before noon, the Padilla family left their home and rushed their father to the hospital. He later died. The next morning, the grief-stricken family returned home to even more bad news. They were pretty upset from all of this shock. And then to come home and to get your house burglarized, it was pretty unbelievable. The family started making funeral arrangements and was also tasked with writing up a list of what was stolen. A sound system, TVs, a jewelry chest, video game systems, and a MacBook Pro laptop. A few days later, deputies would stumble upon some of the stolen items inside their neighbor, Amber Baca's home. Detectives who had heard about the burglary were looking for Baca on a warrant for an unrelated case. On Tuesday, they caught up with her. She came out and deputies uh, went in to go arrest her for the felony warrant. Inside Baca's room, deputies saw that stolen Mac computer, a camcorder, iPod, and a digital camera. For now, Baca's been charged with receiving stolen property, but deputies are waiting to see if she'll face more charges. The way they broke in is they went through the back. They pried open that door. Detectives say Baca knew the family was not home because she had just left their house as they were leaving to go to the hospital. She went and she talked to the victim's daughter. And detectives say the burglars left behind a gardening tool used to pry open the door with fingerprints on it. It will be tested against Baca. Today, the family buried their father. As they were at the funeral services, a family friend watched over their house. Back to you. All right, thank you, Crystal. Deputies say Baca told them she got the stolen goods from a man who lived on the next street. She was not able to tell them his name or where he lived. He was